You! How did you... Bah, I'll finish this myself! Is it finished? Well then, this unfortunate little tale comes to an end. I've already dispatched some of my best agents to clean up Rethan Manor. We'll tend to Marla's apartment and the mine next. Well done. Now, what of this mysterious scroll? Excellent. Best hand it over to me. Something so dangerous should not fall into the wrong hands. House Flalu can keep it safe, or destroy it if we deem it necessary. This will earn you some favor with our house. I'll even double your pay. You've proven to be a reliable assistant. House Lalu values reliability. I would say it's been a pleasure, but this whole affair has left me with quite a headache. Still, I may call upon you again in the future. Here, double pay as promised.
Glad to see we all made it. Now let's find Briven before Rhea skewers him. Weapons shot.
Captain Brivin is on his way. Soon we'll have a permanent job in House Redoran, yes? Interfere for the last time. are you up to? I thought you worked for Counselor Eris. You better have a damn good reason for killing the mercenary leader. I ought to sound the alarm and let her warriors deal with the likes of you. Veya? She's barely out from under her mother's apron and she presumes to judge my actions? No matter. Whatever your motives, nothing justifies the blatant killing of Ferrara and her mercenaries. Counselor Eris can't protect you this time, Outlander.
It sounds like a... You! What in the name of the three are you up to? Vea? She's barely out from under her mother's apron and she presumes to judge my actions? No. Ah, now everything becomes clear. Vea learned something of her brother's fate and wants to retaliate. Then let her come. But know this. I merely set the events in motion. I didn't conceive the plan. You're looking for the responsible party. Then look no further than Counselor Eris. He wanted to prove his son's loyalty to the house. To show that Orin's fascination with the savage Ashlanders hadn't corrupted him. Well, look how that turned out. A test Orin failed. Eris was devastated when his son sided with the savages, and his daughter ran away. He decided to resign his position. He'll make the announcement today. Eris hopes to restore his family, but I think it's a lost cause. Hmm? That's for Auron. Choke on your own blood, you bastard. Vea killed Briven. Without a writ. It was pure, focused rage. I never expected her to go through with it. If Vea doesn't get herself killed up there, the Morog Tong will hunt her down and execute her, like a rabid guar. Her and me both. I'm not sure they deserve to be saved, but that's what we have to do. Vea can't be allowed to kill the counselors. I... we have to stop her. It's more than me and Vea's lives on the line. Something like this could destroy the Morog Tong. The Morog Tong only recently began to find acceptance again. Vea's actions don't just reflect badly on me. They could be used to force us back into the shadows, maybe even disband us all together. We're both going to have to answer for this. We have to get ahead of her. Cut her off. There's a door on the main floor, near the kitchens, that should allow us to come at the council meeting from another direction. I was able to get it open when I was scouting around up there. Let's go! No more time to talk. Let's go stop. Everyone, calm down. Counselor Eris will deal with this. We're safe in here. There's no need to panic. No need to panic? She's cut down every mercenary in her way. Her father won't be able to stop her. Faye is getting close. We're running out of time. Open this door. Vea, daughter. I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. Come on, stubborn, stupid lock. Father, why? Does the house really matter more than your own son? I needed to protect Ulron. To prove his loyalty. If I could do it all over again. But you can't! None of us can. That's they why I have to do this. That's an order. I'm not your apprentice anymore. The house has grown corrupt, evil. That's why all the counselors have to die. Redder and 
blows today. Enough, Bea. This isn't the way. would have listened. Outlander, we should speak. I think we can help one another. The Morag Tong agent. She cares deeply for Veya, doesn't she? It takes great courage to go against your heart and do what you know is best. You both did that by protecting the Council. For that, you have my thanks. A series of regrettable decisions led to this family tragedy. And most of them were made by Eris Relith. I knew of Ulron's compassion concerning the Ashlanders. It was unorthodox, but not worthy of the punishment meted out. Eris was wrong. Eris convinced Brivin to test Ulron. Then the two of them decided to slaughter the Ashlanders. Oh, the Council allowed itself to be convinced that exile was an appropriate punishment. But we were wrong to let it go as far as it did. I didn't say that, but we're not butchers. We do not hire mercenary thugs to wipe out an entire people. This gathering was to deal with that. Eris planned to step down, and we were going to demote Brivin for the part he played. House Redoran behaved poorly. Morag Tong rules were violated. I suggest we make sure these details never see the light of day. Leave the bodies where they are. We will say that Veya died protecting her father and the Council from the War Claws. Cooperate with House Redoran and hold your tongues. It's as simple as that. I shall return to the Council meeting and conclude our business. When we're finished, I expect you and Nayu to both be gone. That is all, Outlander. I'm not sure about this. It's a generous offer, but those are some big secrets to sweep under a rug. Besides, Vea isn't dead, at least not yet. She's still breathing. The High Counselor thinks we killed her. The deal hinges upon all of us forgetting this sorry mess ever happened. 
Besides, once Vea regains her senses, there's every likelihood that she'll try to kill the counselors again. When have I ever been able to convince Vea to do anything she didn't want to do? There's redder and blood on Vea's hands. Once the Morog Tong ties those unauthorized murderers to her, she's as good as dead anyway. And, more than likely, so am I. I don't see many options. We can either finish off Vea now, and go along with the High Counselor's deception, or we slip out of here with Vea and send her far, far away. She broke her vows and deserves to die. I know that, but it still feels wrong. You're... You're right. If anyone's to blame for all this, it's me. I wasn't a good enough mentor. If for no other reason, Vea deserves a second chance. Look, you need to leave. We'll meet back in Walmara. And Hero. Thanks. Go on. I'll get her out of here before the Council notices and meet you in Walmara. <laughs>